Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Snyderverse Darkseid, well, the Snyder Justice League cut gold label Darkseid, the one wearing armour, and like, I I liked the look of this one way more than the unarmoured version, he just looks weird, his chest I think is meant to make the Omega symbol, which is like Darkseid's symbol, but it just kind of looks very concave and weird and awkward, and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I held out until I was able to find this version. Which does look magnificent. It's so huge, he's imposing. The paintwork is fairly nice. I mean, it's not Storm Collectibles level, but considering the price, it's still quite good. The sculpting on the armor is lovely. It's made of a softer plastic, so it doesn't hinder his articulation too much. And he's just a big, hefty, bad boy of a figure. Uh, who do I have to stack him up against? Impactor, you can see, he just comes up to like his, his hand, pretty much. Uh, Jack, who's slightly taller, comes up to his elbow. Oh, yeah, you're not going to find much who's going to compare to this guy size-wise. <laughs> no pun intended. 7-inch Terminator, again, tiny next to him. This guy is just absolutely monstrous, which kind of suits Darkseid. I mean, sometimes he's only a foot taller than Superman, sometimes he's an absolute giant. I don't mind my Darkseid being giant. He should be big and imposing. I wish he just did more in the comics to merit the sort of reputation as the dreaded he has. So, articul- look at that, that's a magnificent looking figure. Articulation wise, you're gonna get a 90 degree out of the arm, bicep swivel, that will give you 360 if you push it, uh, essentially will give you the 360, but won't rotate fully. Uh, double jointed, double jointed elbow is gonna give you more than 90. Head can do almost. Oh, head will do the full exorcist. Can. Oh my god. I think I just broke his chin. Yep. Oh no, it just came unglued. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, so don't push on that thing, mental note. So it can only look up that much, can look down that much. Arm comes in. He's got a good chest swivel going. Well, waist swivel. Can go down that much, can go back that much. Decent range of motion all around. Especially considering he's got this armor. Legs. He'll do the splits. Comes forward. That much. Goes back. That much. Little bit of swivel. No. Oh, yeah. Shin swivel. That's quite good. Um, my knee is stuck on this one. You can see that's sculpted in a way that it's coming out over the shin. Or the meat there which isn't good. On this leg, it'll give you slightly more than 90, if it isn't blocked. I hope that's not the case on all these figures. That's such an oversight. Uh, foot will go down that much, goes up that much. Has a very strong toe pivot, not toe pivot, but toe joint thing. Ankle pivot, not really. I mean, they spin, but I don't like McFarlane ankles. They really need to change that, as far as I'm concerned. But otherwise, big, imposing, Piss off dark side. Like, this is the sort of dark side figure we need. Acceptable price. Not his classic comic book design. But still very imposing, and I'll definitely do a stop motion with this guy in some sort of enormous contest, because he does need a lot of characters to challenge him. I guess I'm forgetting his accessory, the weird spear they gave him in the movies. It's nicely sculpted. Very basic. Simple wash on it. Nothing too grand. But uh, you, the sculpt on this guy is quite phenomenal. You can see all the detail in the armor there. Really, really like it. He's quite craggy. I like his face. One of the eyes, I think the paint's a little bit off. But ultimately, this guy is a badass. I can't give it a perfect rating, because one of the legs doesn't work, which sucks. But he's decently articulated for what he is. Hmm. Four out of five. If you're into your dark side, and if you liked the Snyder Justice League, then definitely pick yourself up this guy. And that's it, yeah. Let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up, one sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it. 
the McFarlane Gold Label Armored Darkseid, and this is a guy who really grew on me as I was taking the photos. I mean, the sculpt is so good, and you can get some fairly dynamic poses out of him. He does have a really intimidating physicality to him in the way he's been sculpted. The legs are perhaps a little bit too short, but he's already so tall and burly, and I guess he is an alien, so it kind of makes sense. Darkseid is normally portrayed as being stock... Um, squatty? Stocky? Stocky, that's the word I'm going for. Squat and stocky. And this guy, he's a bit more lithe, but I kind of like that. It gives him a warrior attribute that I think I prefer. So I'm really pleased with this guy. He's just a huge, burly hunk of plastic, and he does look like he would, you know, mess up pretty much anyone he comes across. So I'm digging it. I'm happy with this. And yeah, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. If that leg was perfect, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 5. I'm super, super pleased with him. Ugh, just such a nice sculpt and such an all-round good-looking figure. Really, really pleased. Yeah, and that's it. If you enjoyed this review, I have plenty more. I've also got Hero House figure fights, top 10 lists, and ranking lists. Just loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye!